Hey, this is video number one of WordPress installation. Now, the great thing about WordPress is it's free. It's theme-based, which means you can change the look of your website by the theme you choose. And I'll talk more about themes, and I'll show you the theme that I like to use as we move forward. And it's also based on plugins, so you can add plugins to add functionality. And in the first video when I talked about Google authorship and video sitemaps, those are the types of plugins we'll use as we move on and configure our WordPress installation. But first, we need to install. So what I'm going to recommend is you search Google for cPanel, and you can see this image here, cPanel plus WordPress. And if uh, I pull up this screen capture, you can see this is another example of a cPanel um, admin uh, area for a web host. And you, they have a nice uh, icon for WordPress or Simple Scripts. Now, this is for Bluehost. I've used Bluehost. Actually, I've used Host Monster, which is a sister company to Bluehost for many years, uh, driven thousands, actually millions of visitors, and had no issues. I'll provide a link for Bluehost for you in the article itself on Marketing Easy Street. So that'll be another option. And in this um, example, you'll, you can see that same exact um, uh, a website builders, okay? And to install, all we need to do is click on the W icon or Simple Scripts, and uh, the script is going to make sure our server is ready to go. So it's checking our server. This will take a few more seconds, and there we go. Now, all we're going to want to do is um, click on the Start button, and you'll just see really how simple it is to install WordPress yourself and move forward. So we're going to install it on this uh, website here, linuxtapesert.org. And this box here, I want to make sure you understand how this works, is to install uh, WordPress in a directory, also known as a folder. So let's say you had a website and it's not based on WordPress, but you wanted to have a blog. Well, you might install it in this box to blog. And what would that look like? Well, let's come back. Let's open up a new tab. I want to pull this down so you can see. If I were to go to Marketing Easy Street, right? And let's say I had this site up and running and it was just a few HTML pages, but I wanted to install a blog. I could do so in a directory or a folder, however I label it. And that's what this field is here. So if you want to install it in a folder or directory, just type in the folder you want and you'll be good to go. In this example, we're just going to do example 13. Um, I almost always install my blog to the root without a folder, just like you see here. So this would be blank. But in this example, just because it is example, we'll go ahead and we'll install uh, right here. So it's going ahead and it's checking and the installation is about to uh, begin. And we can go ahead and say, I've read the terms of service, and I'd like you to install the script now, which it's doing right now. And it'll take just a few more seconds. And that's it. That's just how easy it is to install WordPress yourself using cPanel and a WordPress installer like Fantastico, Simple Scripts, uh, etc. Okay. Now, we'll go ahead and click this link right here, and it'll show us the admin page. And I'm, I've hidden the username and password. So if we were to go ahead and open this link, it would take us to this page. And there you have it. The username, the script pr provided, and the password. Simply log in. And in the upcoming video, I'll walk you through deleting some of the information or content, I should say, some of the web content that comes pre-installed when you install WordPress. Okay, now before that, I'm going to show you how to manually, manually install WordPress in case you can't find a web host or your web host doesn't include an auto installer. It's not really that hard to install WordPress manually, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. See you then.